Oh, and it gave birth to even more enemies for us to fight. Oh, God. Yeah, we really need to kill those things. Like, really badly. Oh, good. All of these hordes of enemies are starting to come close, which is good. Should be able to dispatch most of those pretty happily. It really helps, especially the gargoyles. They can be such a hindrance by lowering accuracy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. And... Oh, okay. That wasn't a, like a splash damage one. It's not always. 90% uh, chance to hit from here. Yeah, that'll do. In righteous battle. That Tyrannophex is totally fine. That Turvigan is... He's off, isn't he? Let's be honest, he's, he's not. Oh, God, a gargoyle's over there. Yeah, just do what you can. The skies are our domain. And you did good, but that's probably your last turn. Oh, well. Oh, well. Right, let's move over here. Kill these with a sword. Sounds good to me. Uh, oh... That's a shame. I was hoping we could move up here and shoot that guy, but can't get close enough. I am the sword of Sanguinius. Yeah, bet you are. Oh, we can't use the Thunder Hammer, hammer diagonally. I always forget that. It always looks like you can attack diagonally, you just can't. Nice. That was pretty good, actually. That was pretty good. I'm gonna get a kill with... Ah, Quindar can come and hit him. Although, probably just use uh, Technoline Crodinax, sounds... Like, less of a waste. So, yeah, see if you can kill him. <laughs> Pest everywhere! Wow! <laughs> it sounds like Waluigi. Okay. You lot, let's, uh... Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, let's have you fly over, see what you can reach. And we can do the same up here, too. Which is very cool. Always forwards. Twirling! Twirling! Alright, let's shoot them, I guess. Uh, you can shoot this guy. And... Oh, yeah, you've got your frag storm grenade launcher. Which I imagine will come in handy here. For taking out these gene stealers. Or probably taking out gargoyles, actually. I think they need to get killed in a hurry. So, uh... Can we reach? We can reach. Excellent. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get the kill. But I do have the Storm Bolter. Which is great just for, like, a bonus attack. Just, oh, okay, not that great for a bonus attack. It's fine for a bonus attack. Uh, this should absolutely knacker these guys, if I can get a better shot at them. So let's try that. I think that's pretty good. Alright, optimal range is four, isn't it? So, should get better shot from there. Yep. Let's supercharge, and let's try and kill this terrain effect. Uh, I just realised I can't swing my sword at him from up here. Though... Damn it. We fight and we die the so this guy's gonna survive. That's annoying. Uh... So he's 70 health, huh? Yeah, but... Mm. If I attack him twice, we may kill him, but it'd be... Uh, actually, no we, no, we can't. No, we literally can't. Never mind. Grr. Yeah, this little sod survived, doesn't he? If only you guys hit better. I'm sure we'll be fine. I do need to do something with this guy, though. I suppose I'll finish these guys off so they can't lower my accuracy. Really? Oh, good. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Okay, let's move you back as well. Luckily, this tank is blocking the way completely. And these guys can't be reached by uh, the stuff up here, which is pretty awesome. Alright, let's have a look at the rest of our boys. I don't know where to go with them, honestly. Um... Okay, let's get in here. We can handle it. Well, good. Ah, Overwatch. I don't think it's going to lower my accuracy, though, so it doesn't really matter. 
All right, blast him. Bang. Not bad. Not bad. And hell blasters might as well. Uh, you guys need to. Oh, you could get him with the storm bolter. You know, cheap free attack might as well. And let's overwatch everything else. Good. So, not great chances to hit from here, so I'm just going to overwatch. And you can overwatch a bit as well. Not a lot, just a bit. Oh. And Brother Rotero is following kind of all the wrong people. There's not a lot he can do. I guess just move up there. And um, Sister Verily can also go up there, I suppose. Uh, we have some Dreadnoughts. I mean, this area is too crowded to be able to do anything with it. Although, it could go up this way, so... Yeah, let's go this way. Intercessors, though. Let's put you this way. More Hell Blasters. I guess over here. If we can push this way, we can start shooting the big boys. Alright. Everyone else can just overwatch wherever you are. Only 18 enemies left. Still somehow two Adeptus Auroritas units. Which is very surprising to me. And now this guy can't attack us here. That's fantastic. Yeah, he has to go the long way around. Or just shoot them instead. Oh, so that lowered their MP. That's interesting. So it uses the rest of their movement to use that shot. I wonder if it does more damage the more MP you have. It would make sense, because it's it fires continuously, right? So if you think of, like, movement points as just, like, time spent doing something? Just sitting there and draining all your potential for moving. Oh, no, I didn't think they'd be able to reach here. Ouch. Brutal. Well, we did upset one, so, you know. I guess we're fine then. But yeah, he's very hurt. Because their librarian's pretty cool. Quite enjoy him as a unit. It's quite interesting. I think just more hell blasters would probably be better, though. Or more intercessors. Because he is ruddy expensive. God, how are they still going? Genuinely amazed they're still going. Alright, let's speed things up. Oh, yeah, through the wall again. They missed, though. I see, movement in the distance. I see trees are green. Red roses, too. Okay, where... Okay, more over here. There's still so many units. Dead yet? Somehow they've survived. <laughs> so many control. Nice. Alright, not great shots. I'm amazed these are still going. I think these guys might have more armor than the normal lot. Really? Again? Wow. Okay, thanks. That was odd. Yeah, I think these might have more armor than uh, the normal Adeptus Sororitas. They do seem a little, a little more hard-wearing, you know? God, how are they still alive? This is obscene. Oh! There another one goes! How? How are you ladies still going? And I can't move these guys, because the train effects will finish them off, so all I could really do is just shoot something. With no accuracy, apparently. Alright, let's do that. And, um... <laughs> you start running. Oh, towards the gene stealers. Yeah, this this will work. And look at this. Look at this just pile of enemies. These are actually terrifying. I need to get some, like, big lads over here. Uh, good. Yeah, good chances to hit from here. Nice. Uh, well, it, it probably must. Okay, you finish there. Uh, you guys, I guess I'm going to have to use the Bile Predator to finish that off. And I got the Hell Blasters to finish this guy off. So, uh, that should hopefully do it. I'll keep moving on further. And 68% chance to hit. That might be enough. The Librarian might need to get a couple shots in, but I think he's probably dead. <laughs> I've got even more units. Wow, okay, you didn't die. That's annoying. But, Death fine. Uh, yeah, you move up this way. 
You guys follow. Aggressors as well. Intercessors too. You can finish him off with the sword there. And yeah, you move up. And you move up. Excellent. Now we've got our aggressors. Uh... Yeah, I think I need to blow up some of these termagants or something. So, need to move up another two. I can just get in range. My Excellent. And now, let's move up everything, I suppose. We can handle it. <laughs> there are a lot of Hellblasters that I hope don't get blown up by artillery, but it is entirely possible that they do. Uh, could get over here and start blasting everything, in fact. That could that could be good. Let's try and bail the sisters out, shall we? Uh, I can jump over here, but not to any brilliant effect. Block, 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 block. The old blocky block game. Uh, you can wipe them out, I suppose. Or can I get... Wow, it's 100% no matter what I shoot. I guess I'll wipe out these gargoyles. Although I might not actually get the kill. Oh, I did. I very much did. The blood of Sanguinius flows in my veins. Alright, you're just going to have to shoot them. It's a bit limp, but... And you move up all but one. You move up all but one. So that way I can get one AP. Oh, I could try and shoot them. It's great. Let's try and shoot them. Let's do that. You can overwatch right in front of you. Sounds great. Uh, and I could give him a different movement so I can move up closer. So I can actually get in range of the gene stealers. So 80% chance to hit. And... All but one. Probably still enough to kill this lass. Uh, maybe we can kill it. Worth a try, why not? Should have moved up one more, actually. That was very silly of me. Oh, crushed it. Good job. That'll do. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, you guys can give this a go, actually. Seems a bit wasteful, but... I don't know, is it worthwhile? Might be worth just overwatching. See if these guys try and get close to us, you know. Okay, you're going to have to overwatch a little bit more boldly. And you can't get that far either. Ugh. You guys have mostly done your job. You can't really do much. And uh, you guys can't do anything really either. Alright, you do what you can. You can still set up an overwatch. And I think that's everybody. Yep. Let's move on. They will fear to tread close. No. So close. And okay, you're just surfing towards people. And they're running. What is going on? Oh. He was sick on my tank. And yeah, they're super dead, right? Yep, there we go. There goes the bonus objective, which <laughs> I'm totally fine with. Probably should care more, but like, there was no getting them out. Although, now that I say that, I reckon if I charged all of my units up into this corner, and I charged all of the Adeptus Sororitas as fast as they could into the same corner, maybe they'd been fine. But uh, I didn't know what was over there. I thought they'd be dead a lot sooner, so. Okay. I was doing great. Running away from me, is what I like to see. There's a lot going on here. Like, a hell of a lot going on here. I'm slightly worried about my tank. Because these guys can do substantial damage, as you just saw. Oh, really through the wall again. You guys just can't stop that, can you? You just can't stop attacking stuff through the wall. 
It's really rude. Really quite rude. And that's what I heard. Alright. Um, now, basically no damage. No damage. Just terrible, terrible odds to damage. I could do some pretty good damage to the Termigan. Let's go for them, why not? Now, you guys, pretty good damage here. But let's see. These guys can be behind cover while they're there, but... If I move over here, is it still going to be a bunch of cover? Or is the angle more favourable? And if I... Oh, I can jump over. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, not as much cover. Brilliant. That's good news. Um, so I... Mm, do I supercharge or do I just fire normally? I think I might want to try and wipe one out. So let's let's supercharge that, see how that goes. So I can't climb up, sadly. That's actually cost us more movement for doing that, but that's okay. Um Yeah, just try and shoot. Just try and shoot them, best you can. And ah, oh, between zero and zero damage. That's what I love to see. See what you can do there. You start trying to get some damage in. I mean, not great odds to hit between zero and one, sixty times. We might be able to finish him off. I mean, I have the bile predator. I just want the bile predator to shoot at something fresh and get like maximum damage out of it. Seven health, really. Oh, that is so annoying. Well, there's one anyway. Now let's shoot this guy. So that should be a good amount of damage. 100 damage. Wonderful. Now, Crotted Axe can walk up as well. Um, I don't like to have to... Hmm, actually, do I want to come in this way? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's just run right up. It's going to use all this movement, but that's fine. Now, we have another Inceptor that can move up and do some work. So let's do just that. And we have this Inceptor as well that can jump up and not really do much, but like, you know, something. Uh, they can get there, I suppose. Actually, oh, I can land on him. Yeah, might as well, right? Might as well. <laughs> that sounded crunchy. Sounded very crunchy. Alright, you move up. Got Librarian to move up as well. You guys, uh, I guess that way. And yeah, I thought that'd be an Overwatch, that's fine. Okay, you blast them. Hopefully that'll kill them all. Excellent. And let's waste the Storm Bolter on these Termigans. Okay, so I can actually surge, so screw it. Not as good accuracy, but... We've done some damage to them already, so it doesn't need to be as accurate. Alright, oh, apparently it needs to be a little bit more accurate. <laughs> a little bit. But, not so bad. Not so bad. Uh, oh, no action points for you guys, huh? Yeah, it's going to move you to your max. That's fine. Alright, now you lot, I think, have done everything. Oh, no, you've not done anything yet. Uh, so, seeing as how Sanguidius is watching over you, should we... Um, Hmm. I guess I'll just shoot them. Nice. So action-packed. I wish they'd shoot a bit quicker when they did that. But hey, down to ten units. Down to ten units. Huh? Huh? Right, let's have a look. You haven't shot yet? That's not really going to do enough, but we can surge, so we can shoot this guy twice, which is pretty good. Uh, I might give it a go. Or, I might just try and finish these gargoyles off? Nah, that's great. Let's go with the turbine. Uh, this isn't going to do it, is it? I'll do about 100 damage, maybe. Oh my word. Okay, you know what? Don't have to descend, just stand there and keep shooting. That's all you got to do. Ah, gutted. Anyone got anything? Oh. Nope. No, maximum 18 damage there. 
Not good enough. How about you? You can't even hit him. Although you might be able to if you move forward one. <gasps> On my way. Is it going to be Technorine Crogenax? With the kill here. <laughs> it was as well. <laughs> nice. Good job. Uh, now let's finish these turbigans off if you can. Nice. So yeah, that uh, Exocrine is the next scary thing on the list. It might wipe out these Inceptors, honestly. I reckon it can. And yeah, Exocrine over there as well. I don't think the Exocrine's going to do as well against all the Dreadnoughts and things. So yeah, we're doing well. That was Overwatch. Alright, Tyrannophex. Remember when, like, one Tyrannophex seemed like a big deal? You remember that? Those were good times. That is, uh... That's laughable, mate. And... Alright, that's fine. Let's speed things up a bit. So... Uh, yeah, they'll be dead in a second. No problem. Uh-huh. Nice. This gonna be good. That was no damage at all, huh? Twice. How on earth did they avoid all of that? They just have like mad evasion or something. Oh, and they're coming over here too. Interesting. And now what are you gonna do? I couldn't even see. Shot the tank, presumably, which is perfect. Is you can be able to retaliate? Yep. I'm really glad I changed his uh, orientation before the end of the last turn, because I shot over over this way, and then turned him back around. Which apparently was the right thing to do. Um, oh, I'm going to get behind him and just start um, chopping. Just going to start chopping. Chop, chop. And I think Quindar is the man for the job here. Let's hit this guy with a big old hammer. Nice. <laughs> Not great, but, you know, good enough. Uh, in fact, I should have probably done this, huh? Oh, it costs one AP. Why would anyone do this? Why would anyone do this? Sort of sanguineous. This cut... Oh, actually, no, I guess that does make sense. I was thinking, why would I do this if it gives plus 50% damage? If it allows me to... If it stops me from attacking twice in a turn. But then I guess this gives me plus 2 movement? So, actually it means I can get closer, and that plus 50% means that I'm not, like... I'm, I'm getting damage and a half rather than just missing completely, not being able to get close enough to attack once. So that does actually give me extra distance to cover. And I guess if something has you know, like damage and a half health left, it's not going to retaliate if it. So I guess it does have uses from time to time. Just not this time. Alright, I want you to start attacking as well. My power is yours to command. Good. Uh, I command you to kill this bug. Hooray! And I guess while you're here, you can shoot him. Don't need to do any damage, though. Yeah, all blocked. Thought that might be the case, but I also thought... Might as well give it a go. Yo, this thing has a lot of health. I can see why we feared these. Originally, because that is... That's a lot of work, you know. It's a lot of work. To kill one... Big, scary dino monster thing. Okay, you guys, uh... Oh, I don't know. I guess get in here and start shooting. You can shoot them. You have no accuracy. I guess you can do the shooting. Okay, you can move down. Oh, they're dead already. Cool. You shoot them. You can finish them off. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, this works. You move up, you should be able to get the kill. You move up as well. You can start shooting. Yep, they're dead. You start shooting. You finish him off. Nice. Now, what on earth is left? I mean, I know him, but... Apparently, there's something else left. What's left? Who did I miss? 
<laughs> Who am I missing? Uh. Huh. Oh, it's the Exocrine up there, isn't it? There he is. Hey, mate. He's uh, he's probably going to murder us, isn't he? Yeah, I can't, I can't get to him this turn. Oh well, that is disappointing. That is disappointing. I'm disappointed. Um, give you extra movement. There we go. Maybe you can reach next turn. Can't give him extra movement though. The sanguinary priesthood serves the will of the chapter. All right, we'll kill him next turn. We're nearly there. Let's see what he does. Keep an eye out. Okay. Alright, he's gonna jog away apparently. And brilliant, great effort. <laughs> That's a start, thank you. That'll help out. That'll help out in a major way. Really? Go for the dreadnought again. Yeah, just not very really good at getting those kills, are they? Okay, let's move you right up. Okay, good. Things aren't looking great for this guy, huh? Okay, you start shooting, you start shooting, you start shooting, and you start swinging. The bleeding is stemmed for now. The flow will begin again if the wound is not cauterized. Where do we go to stop them? Wind River Canyon. The Xenos can be held there, but it will cost you. Our lives are the Emperor's to spend. We will hold them at the canyon. Superior Verity. Your sisters require your help here. Your aid until now has been invaluable. But my brothers and I must proceed alone. I was tasked to see your mission through to completion, Lieutenant. I have no intention of failing the Canoness nor Commander Dante in front of the Lord Primarch. Have faith. My sisters will persevere with or without our help. And I will not rest until Baal Secundus is scoured of the Xenos infestation. <laughs> our soldiers will persevere. They are all dead, Verity. They're all dead. 100% all dead. But sure, you know, glad you're coming. <laughs> All right, new units are available. Yep, the flying ladies. Uh, I don't really see much of a point uh, getting, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, sorry, sorry, gang. Right, so what do I want to upgrade? What do I want to upgrade? Getting typhoon missiles might be fun, uh, because I never actually bother to use these these uh, you know command abilities, because you can only use them from one guy. Which seems a bit weird to me. I feel like, uh, kind of like army abilities in Total War, Warhammer, right? It should just be to one side. It shouldn't be an ability that a single unit uses. You know? I feel like it should be more widely available. Just kind of there as an option. Um, tying it to a unit feels a bit weird. I find. Especially because it's not in his, like, pool of abilities. It's It's got its own button, which is weird. But, oh well. I am tempted to get these, though. And hopefully, actually use them. Uh, frag grenades are really good too, by the way. Apparently, these uh, work on the uh, what are they called? Uh, Sisters of Battle. Apparently, they get it too, even though it just says intercessors, which would make them a lot more feasible. You know, would make them a lot better. Um, crack grenades are pretty cool too. Hand flamer for the assault squads. Assault squad and Carleon get Inferno pistols. I mean, that seems quite good. Six armor piercing. Only attacks once, but 30 to 40 damage? That's sizable. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, let's get something. <laughs> Do I want the Flamestorm Gauntlet? Maybe? There's a lot of stuff that, like, I maybe want? I just don't know. Extra melee armor piercing for HQ units is quite cool. This is just for Brother Altero. It gives 40 momentum to somebody. Uh, Blessed of Sanguinius, plus 20 HP per model for HQ units. That doesn't seem too bad. Uncanny Senses for Hellblaster sounds absolutely awesome, actually. Extra range armor piercing critical chance? Yeah, screw it. Let's get that. I already have that. Yeah, makes sense. It's very cool. Uh, the Baal Predator can get some additional stuff. Flamestorm Cannon sounds fun. That is tempting. That is tempting. 
though a lot less armor piercing, and we have been using it to armor pierce a fair bit. Hmm. Let's see, the blood lance for the librarian. Uh, meh. Is that fun? I don't know. Furiosa Dreadnought is getting some better stuff. I mean, a melter gun sounds sick. Let's get that. Just one big damaging shot. So let's get... Oh, I have to get this first. Uh, extra HP per body. Fine. Let's get the melter gun. And sadly, we're one point shy of getting the blood lance. But that's alright. Uh, assault cannon fine too. The the That'll do. That'll do. Brilliant. Next up, it's the Wind River Blockade. It looks like we are headed to, I was going to say, the last little node here of uh, Xeno activity. But there's also still a little purple ring over here too. So, yeah. Maybe we're going to be traipsing right back across again. I have no idea. But, oh well. So, army management. So, we do have the new units. But, okay, we have another unit slot. What has filled that up? Intercessors died. That was it. Do we need intercessors? I feel like intercessors aren't doing much anymore. Should we swap them out for something else? I am tempted. Could swap them out for, um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just more of these. Death from above! I feel like just having a ton of these would be awesome. So, oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, it adds them in a random order. Oh, that's useful, isn't it? Well, that one's got the assault bolter. Plasma exterminator, please. And this one's got now a plasma exterminator. Cool. Uh, also, some people have been commenting on the fact that the heavy plasma incinerator does more damage overall. And yes, that's never been in dispute. It obviously does. But the fact is, it only attacks once. So if you miss, that's way less damage. The plasma incinerator, rather than the heavy one, it's, it's more constant, the damage. It averages out. Um, like, it's more reliable, just because the damage is always going to level out at around the same. Which is way easy to plan for. You know, if I have two hell blasters and I have them shoot, you know, with decent accuracy, they're going to do about 100 damage each. But with the heavy plasma incinerator, with the lower accuracy and the fact they only shoot once, I have a much wider range of damage it could do. And yes, it would average out over the course of a playthrough, but I don't care about that. Um, that doesn't help me. That's not something I can strategize around in the same way. You know, I miss one shot and then suddenly my whole plan is has failed and I haven't done the damage I wanted to. So for I prefer to have more consistent results with my troops than just, you know, the chance of better. Um, consistency, I think, is better for planning. So that's why I'm keeping it there. But yeah, the fact that the maximum amount of damage it can do is higher. Yeah, I know that. Don't worry about it. Um, but I just prefer this weapon. I think it's better to have that consistency. That's what I've chosen, and I'm sticking with it. So, I don't think anyone else has any other upgrades we can get. Uh, oh, nope. I say that. We've got the melt gun now. So, rather than shooting 42 times between 3 and 4 damage, we're just going to have some big damage to do. Which, hopefully, this is worth doing. But it might be a total waste, because we might end up just not being able to kill swarms as easily. Especially now we've got rid of the intercessors. But I feel like the Baal Predators can wipe out those troops pretty quickly. You know, pretty easily. And uh, the Dreadnoughts do still have the frag launcher thing for taking out um, infantry. So, I think that's probably better. Uh, how many points are they? 165 compared to 135. Let's see. And these guys, 215. Yeah, I think we'll keep this. Uh, we'll keep these as is. I don't know what the next mission's point allowance is going to be. Does it say, I wonder? Maybe I'll check when I actually start the mission. But I know as soon as I click that, you know, someone's going to start waffling on. So, <laughs> and that's my job. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.